Here we go. I'm going to make a little intro here. It's definitely not a video, or it's not that I don't want to make this, but I just know, uh, how do I say it? Most people are awful and think that it's all right just to trash places just beyond belief. And that's okay because I don't know anything about the environment at all, yet they're apparently a fisherman. I'm sure they don't have fishing licenses. But yeah, it's just going to show how destroyed this place has become. I've fished this quite a bit over the years, and it might be almost three years now, and this place is just dying. There we go. Something's got it. Nice. Okay, it's it. Oh my god. It's at least a bass. And I think it was a large mouth. Really? How? Ugh. How did you even do this to me, bud? If you would just sit still. Yep, there you go. Then I can get the hook out of you. What a monster. Something like that. So I think they're definitely carp fishermen they're just sitting hanging out. But at the same time they were also casting around earlier. So I don't know. Put some new line on this, you know, ASAP. Yesterday. Really? Exact same spot. Really now. I've been fishing this for like 10 plus hours over the past year and a couple months, I want to say. And I don't know why I didn't take that away earlier. I've, you know, what, what, five missed bites in total, just only, and another thing to note, only hooked one. That one looked like such a small wake on it, whatever that's called. Really? So these guys are dumb enough to just leave all that trash there like I wasn't here before them. At least the corn, you know, a deer will come by tonight or tomorrow morning or something. And I think that's just a loaf of bread sitting on the top of the water, maybe. Yeah. So, I guess I'm glad that they didn't talk to me. And who knows how much of this other trash that's here is also theirs. Along with things more sinister like that one dead giant carp. He was at least like a two-foot carp, a very, very formidable fighter, to say the least. And it's went rotten. I saw it there, nothing got to it. I mean, it's like it was a bass fisherman that hated carp or something. I don't know why somebody would do that. Now that I've still got at least a half decent amount of uh, sunlight here and not quite leaving it. Obviously, this is mine and I'm actually going to throw it away, but we have whatever, live bait. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Cans, water bottles, actually 15 right there. Box. Let's see. I mean, obviously these. A little baggy, another one. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just in this area. In the first spot. And by the way, I've already flush cleaned all of this before in my 100 subscriber video and I mean what's the reason to ever do it again if this is going to happen within a year of time obviously all of these I want to check so we got Budweiser only in there and then you want to tell me another Budweiser box I don't know what these orange cans are. Obviously, you, you drank Budweiser if you got the box there. I can see some red. <sighs> Not a hazy IPA. We got a scarf wearing sissy boy. All right, let's go find the other stuff. Uh, so here's another one, another Budweiser. Yes. So now I just got to get their face on video to give them what for. And all I got to do is come and fish and hang out. Uh, I'm not going to explore there, but I'll tell you that there are a lot. I'll maybe go... We got... <laughs> already. <laughs> I mean, already trash right there. I could go a little bit more fine. That's sitting water. So I better be careful. Thick. Um, yeah, that's a blue tarp right there. I'll get clutch sir, to cl not clarify, but verify. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh yeah, there. But all these trees and whatnot have been cut down. They're all alive. You can just see how fresh these are, and these have been sitting here for ages. Some green, I don't even know, uh, shard up stuff right here. Um, at least a pack of cigarillos or whatever, or cigar. What the, yeah, one here, one here, one here. Obviously a fucking tent, sorry, but yeah another one can from maybe corn worse is going to be if i am still able to get the skeleton of the giant carp here oh yeah just saw that thing earlier whatever that white stuff is uh somewhat of a tarp and the carp is going to be in here somewhere so trying to look for bones might be too overgrown I might just have to show the old clip it's gonna probably take me forever to find it oh uh, what is this ah. what no wonder it smells someone just left a carp out here what the hell So gross. But yeah, this spot's genuinely getting destroyed. I've not only had the person or a person just flat out ask me if I've like caught carp and kept carp. So that means, you know, if they're gonna eat carp, I'm sure they're gonna eat all the uh, bass they catch. And if you've ever seen somebody that eats bass, they're a lot of the time harvesting illegally not only numbers but uh size they're not taking the correct size and they're taking as many as possible yeah so that's why i mean it's this spot i've been fishing the other spot and had you know normal success this is just dying rapidly it's, it's honestly quite a big area i 
I'm still seeing the pieces of bread floating. That one might actually be getting pecked at by panfish or whatever. I can't imagine it would be any other fish doing that. But yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I've literally gone out of my way already. I mean, another thing I pick up all the soft plastics, the soft plastic that I have on right here was left by probably them somewhere right here. I, yeah, just, I, I mean, I don't know what to say other than fuck those people. I hope I can get a good glimpse of them and yeah, I hope, well, I mean, nothing's gonna be done. I know how police are. They're utterly useless. Definitely don't ask uh, my local police department what I called in for and they refused to do, but refused to arrest upon. But what do I know? Yeah, hopefully these guys just fall off their boat, lose all their fishing belongings, and never fish again, because that's what they deserve. Yeah, I mean, they deserve worse, but obviously fines and tons and tons of uh, community service cleanup, because they're apparently not capable as grown adults. Yeah. You drove here just to fucking shit on everything. Great. Oh, and before you go and like, oh, this this guy, he doesn't do anything. He just complains about it. I've already, I'm pretty sure less than a year or a year-ish, cleaned this place on a video, and it was my 100 sub special. Instead of fishing some cool lure, I fished a couple spots and cleaned them up. You know how much a waste of time that is with people like this? God damn. Wow, that was pretty quick. Yep. Let's see what kind of panfish you are, red breasted sunfish. The orange belly. Oh, never mind, it's a bluegill. <laughs> At least I think it's just a bluegill. Ah. You know, when you don't let them fight for a, like a single second, they really just... They really just wreak havoc. <laughs> oh, stand still. We got a carp coming in. Moving like a frickin' poured bottle of molasses, Jesus. I mean, who knows, but that might be a good thing. He might be like, for sure feeding. And he's gone. I, <laughs> I see him real close to the, he's close to the surface of the water and close to like a, a knot on the tree. This is ridiculous. I'll let him get the okay or not. Okay. Really? C can you... Can you actually get a bite and get hooked on it? Or are you just... Just twiddling your thumbs down there. Why is that such a big pin? <laughs> Look at this guy. Okay, engulf the whole thing. Yep. Jesus. Please. Is this just another bluegill? There's gotta be. Okay, never mind. I thought he was hooked in the eye. It was kind of bad, feeling sad.
He's unfortunately got a sore on him. And I can't wash my hands until I get back home, so hopefully I'm immune. Another negative thing to think about right there. I mean, yeah, I caught a fish, but it was just a pan fish and it had, you know, at least one uh, lesion, whatever you want to call that. Well, that's nice. They got a chopper running. I'm sure they can see all the trash that whatever this group of guys' names are. Uh, Sissy Boys, I think, is a good way to describe them if they're using gloves just to put on corn and minnows. That's, I hate to say, a little uh, soft. That's the absolute nicest way you can say it. But yeah, I'll keep this outro a lot quicker than the other one. Obviously, I think the other outro had like a tour of the a tour of the area and looking for as much trash as I possibly could. But yeah, um, I know not every single Budweiser was the exact same one, but that is you cannot find a worse red flag when. 90 to 95 sorry and then he what the hazy ipa got a pan fish going after this but yeah it's been really rough fishing to say the least i cannot believe that people just go out of their way to just destroy anything and something like nature It's just something else. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, there will probably be a follow-up um, of identifying the people. Let's just say that. Yeah. Because, I mean, nothing's going to happen if I clean this up. It's just going to appear in less than a month's time again. Uh, what else? Uh, not identifying them will, you know, just do nothing whatsoever at least getting something like their license plate and possibly more like their faces and whatnot will actually get something